grab yourself a cup of tea, light a candle, sit back and relax. It's time for me to share my visual journal with you. Hello, I'm Renee Dowling from Reflections Art Studio and Community Classroom. Come on in. So I'm very proud to show off this journal because it's the first journal that I sewed together. And um, I used a variety of fabrics, some from my grandparents, some from my mom, some, some old shirts, some Western shirts. And I just randomly patched them together. I didn't measure and it didn't have a big plan, but I saw somebody else do it online and I thought, what, if they can do it, why can't I? So I also sewed a, um, a strap so that I could close up my journal. As you can see, it is very thick and I've only filled in one signature, but here's the side and I use some grommets to do the pamphlet stitching. And here's the back of the journal. And then when I open it up, then you can see that I also put fabric on the inside. Um, the original stiffness is from a cardboard box, um, like crackers or cereal or something. I can't even remember, it's been such a long time. Inside I put some quilt batting to make it soft to the touch and zigzagged around with the sewing machine. I am not a sewer, so this was a big deal for me. Um, each signature has a watercolor painting and I thought I would show you my first signature because it is now complete. And uh, so this one was a watercolor painting that I did with grade one, two class in Medicine Hat. And they were studying insects and um, plants as a grade one, two class. And so we started this by just randomly picking some different objects to make some circles. And then we decided we were gonna turn them into plants and add some butterflies and do some doodling. And I started this in the summer of 2021 and I just completed it the fall of 2021. I just added some, um, I guess you would call it ribbon. And then I added some fabric to my page and some sewing so that it matched the rest of the journal. And then, um, the pages in here are just random pieces of paper. So this is ledger paper and there's watercolor paper. And so each time I turn to a new page, I have to try and problem solve and figure out how I'm going to integrate it into what I want to do. So um, this page back here, the background was started. I just picked some pieces from magazines, some old maps and collaged them together onto a card. And then I made my own little paper doll. Face isn't so awesome, but it doesn't matter. And then as you can tell right here, I also used some of the fabric to make her a purse. And this was just a little reflection about how I will never be a perfect little housewife with the spotless house and hot meals always on the table. But give me a tractor, a hammer, a paintbrush, and I'll be there with a smile, messy hair, and stained clothes and a full heart. And then just here are some reflections. Um, in this journal, I decided I was going to do more writing so I can try to, you know, go back and read. And uh, this was just about how I have great ideas and I would like to be given a chance to share them with people. And um, so these, this page is about reflection of the summer. This is July and it was just too darn hot. And, you know, waking up in the morning, feeling hot, going to bed, feeling hot. And so what I did for this little journal card was I again started with some magazine pages and then just gave myself a time limit. I think it was like 30 sec or three minutes or something. And then I had a background already created. So then I decided to add, there's some burlap here and some cheesecloth, some musical pages. And then I just added some, a little watercolor painting of myself sweating. And the first sentence is, I feel like my skin is going to melt right off my body. And that pretty much summarizes our summer in Southern Alberta. And then on the back, um, I decided to go outside in the nighttime when it was a little bit cooler and decided to draw my backyard from the perspective of my deck. And it's um, added some pen and ink and then just wrote about the experience. And um, this background page is just um, an old grocery bag. And I took a stencil and put it underneath. 
and um, used a like stays on ink pad and just went back and forth and then got all of the different textures just added a little band watercolor paper so I could stick my little journaling card in this is sort of a new style for me and just kind of showing the background I'm trying to show more white of the page in this case brown of the page and I used an old music book and some a little stamp from a some postage I received and just tried to keep it really simple with some few rubber stamps and then on this side I did some different designs and it ended up irritating me because I put a band across and these cards were going to stay in there but every time I opened up the book they fell out so I decided to glue them down and this is just using some old playing cards and I glued some paper down and then used some rubber stamps and just reflected about being able to go out for Canada Day and having freedom with no restrictions and no masks just some things reflecting about um The unmarked graves of the residential students that were found, and some just some other observations. And then on these pages, I decided I wanted to just be free and ha do some abstract paintings. And so I started off uh, again. This background is some musical notes, and I decided I wanted to reserve some of that. But first, I um, did gesso over top, and then I taped around the outside. And then once again, I gave myself a time limit. I can't remember what it is now. And I limited myself to reds and black and white and just a few pieces of, a few things, a few different types of media and set the timer and then went to it. So my object objective here was to try to create some contrast. So light against light against dark, thick next to thin, repeat things in threes to lead your eye through. And even though these things look abstract and kind of willy-nilly, there is thought put behind them. And so here's another one. Um, same idea with a limited palette, black against white, thick and thin. This time I decided to add on some journaling and it's a, just kind of for texture and for, to add interest. And it's not important what it says, but I do read freedom and vaccinations kind of things. So, and pandemic in there. 1867, that's when Canada became a country. So I like to kind of sit down and put random numbers in. of it, And it might be relevant to the date or relevant to me. And you can see on the side here, I've also went around with my sewing machine. And that was before I even put the page into the journal. And also attached some of the fabrics from the front cover. Here's another uh, mixed media abstract. And again, just trying to work with darks and lights, thick and thin lines, not thinking about it too much. And just, again, a limited palette. Here is a quote that I found. I have the power to create change. And so on here is a little bit more um, complicated complex than the previous pages again there is a dictionary page behind here so i try to use things that i just find around the house and again a mystery number relevant to me and um, because all the pages are different sizes and different material i have to try to figure out how to incorporate that so i decided to just continue the this page here onto the next page and when you flip it open, then we have a totally a different color scheme, just kind of simple. On this page, I, wasn't, I didn't have an idea when I started what I was going to do. And then I realized that this dictionary page had all the words that started with man. So I put, did you ever notice how many words in the dictionary start with man compared to the word woman? And I did a little search on freedictionary.com and they counted 1,642 words start with man compared to 44 start with woman. So just kind of a thought for the day, using some old art that I had made on watercolor paper and sewn around, just kind of real simple, real fun, and just a little bit of washi tape. And then we finally were able to go to the movie theater, and this was in August, so... I put down my, uh, we went to the Jungle Cruise and I put my ticket down. I was so excited to put it 
on there and then when I used my heat gun it turned black so then I had to try and deal with that and then I thought this little fortune cookie quote was relevant to the movie romance is about to blossom it was just kind of and there's a little bit of fabric again from the front cover that I incorporated in here did a little tiny journaling but not much and then turning the page my granddaughters were able or my family was able to visit us from California this summer so I was all excited and so I used a photograph that I took of the first day when they came. We did art together. And I did a photo transfer onto the paper. And then I just decided to write little quotes about my grand youngest granddaughter. Last time I saw her was when she was one and now she is three. So I wanted to capture the moments. And then so I did a little watercolor painting of her with a little bit of pen and ink. And I always challenge myself not to use pencil, so it is what it is, and that's how it turned out. And then I just did some little text boxes and wrote down some things that she liked or she could do at age three, and here's some quotes. And she loves turquoise, so I used that as the color, and she loved our kittens and couldn't keep her hands off of them. So there's a little design that was on her little t-shirt. Just wrote down, we sang Little Green Frog together while we kayaked, and just... Nice special memories. And then on here, I decided that I wanted to do some more journaling about my summer so far. So I put my nickname for my sister is Nene. So I put Nene's Newfangled Notables. Just the little text boxes again with little shadows. And I wrote down things that were noteworthy about the summer, some special things that happened, put a little pocket. We were able to go to the rodeo for the first time in a, in a two years. So I put that in there. And you, as you can tell, the ticket is thermal printed. And when I added a heat gun, then it turned black. And again, a little Chinese um, fortune cookie page or a quote. And then I just put down here some mu new music that I found or new artists, some new things I tried for nutrition, some new yum nummies for recipes. And then again, a little bit more nostalgic narratives of occurrences in August. And then here, people were starting to question things in the government and whatever. So I just put down, what is happening? What should I believe? What is real? And then put this giant bunny and these little people, and again, believing what you see, is it really real or not? And at the time, Medicine Hat had, had 526 cases of COVID. And uh, then on this page, just a fun little page, I got a brand new paint set with um, metallic paints. And I started this little kitten with my granddaughters and we just collaged papers. This is just using maps. And I just wrote about how cats challenge my brain. And this is just a page uh, st that sh was about gratitude and just keeping things really simple. Um, basic colors, red, little bit, I added a little purpley blue, little bit of black and white, but not much, and just used words from the text that I glued on and did a little bit of journaling. Again, my goal is always to improve in faces. And um, I noticed there's lots of neutral colors going out there, so I in the world of for clothing and home decor and journaling. So I thought I'd give it a whirl. And this page is, uh, the background is a page from a book that my husband's grandfather wrote. So I decided to do this page about the grandfather. And here's a little ticket that he saved and put in his scrapbook about entering the Mason ex exhibition in Stampede. And he would enter his gladiolas and he would often win prizes for them. So I made a photocopy of that, put it in here. And I put, your mind is ingenious and you learn easily. And for him to, this, his book is about pyramids and trying to figure out the theory behind it and tied in religion into it. And it was a very complicated book with these big, long decimal numbers. And so I just did a reflection about him. And this drawing here is from the front cover of his book. And then I also have a little pocket here and it shows a picture of his garden and what he wrote in his scrapbook. And then I did some journaling about him and his personality. And I keep coming back and adding more things to make things stand out. And they say, art is never finished. It just 
it, it just ends in interesting places. And then here I was really excited to get a brand new uh, Windsor Newton um, palette. So I was giving it a try and I did the background here while we were traveling fr from Calgary. And so I didn't, wasn't sure what to do with all these pages. I was trying all the colors. And so then I decided to do some silhouettes and all of women supporting each other. And I just put women supporting women, me supporting me and me supporting you. And then just putting different brave, brave sayings across the top. Then on this side again, this time I decided to do circles with the brand new palette and put a nice quote from Jack Layton. My friends, my friends, love is better than anger. Hope is better than fear. Optimism is better than despair. So let us be loving, hopeful, and optimistic, and we'll change the world. And so this was just in the response to all the negativity on Facebook and on the news. Did a little tiny journaling and then drew this girl. And some more color swatches. And this entry... I um, decided that the journaling in this book are not going to be secretive or anything. And if it is, then I'll just cover it up with a fancy background. Uh, but this was about me picking up some new glasses. And I was so excited to finally get some new glasses. They, my other pair were so scratched that when I looked up, I saw rainbows. And uh, this was about being brave and trying new things. And I decided to pick a style and color that I didn't think I would like because it reminded me too much of the 1980s. But I tried them on and oh, I love them. And so this again is just dealing with the color swatches that I did. And I love this quote. I'm not what happened to me. I am what I choose to become. And then some more color swatches. I'm just going crazy with this little set. And this was just about me going to McDonald's to getting a vanilla chai iced frappe. And a certain incident happened and it turned out to be a wonderful thing. And it was about paying the niceness forward. And then here, fall is coming. It's September. So switching to fall color swatches, doing a little collage of old paintings I did, and then using some gold and just not even doing any journaling, just some doodling. And this is more typical of what I've been doing in the past year is a lot of mixed media and layers and so I decided to go back to that for a little bit and but some new things that I did on this page are I did some embroidery use some embroidery floss to make some X's right here and here and I just bought myself a brand new circle cutter you could do different sizes so I used some scrapbook paper from a magazine um, Stampington magazine and then decided to collage those in. And on this page, I did some doodling and attached and made a sort of a little hinge. And again, some secret numbers in there. And on the inside, it was me talking with a client. And as I was talking to her and we were visual drilling together, it helped me make some decision makes make, to help to make some decisions. So I thought I should tell myself to remember to listen to my heart. And when it says no, don't do it. And not to feel guilty after I've made the decision. And I did a little journaling around the outside and used some old pages that I did was practicing faces and some eyes. Love how that one turned out. And then, like I said, fall was here. So I'm glad I live in a world where there are Octobers. And this was from Ellen Montgomery, one of my favorite authors, Anna Green Gable. And some new things I tried on this page were to use some old filter, some tiny filter, coffee filters. And I painted on them. I used pen and ink over top and some different pens and as you can tell it worked out quite well so I was kind of happy about that and here I had to disguise the embroidery uh, stitching that I did on the previous page so I think I did pretty well and again using my brand new gold or a metallic paint set and then just splattering And that this page is, has a lot of layers again. And on here, I wanted to try some different ways of drawing some flowers. 
I incorporated some little sewing machine stitching here and here. And this went through lots of different transformations and I kept changing my mind. And then finally, I decided just to keep it simple and went over a whole bunch of things and did lots of mark making. And I added um, some tissue paper that I had written on for journaling. I didn't want to remember everything I wrote, but just certain key words. And then I ended up, I had originally glued on a envelope here, but I didn't like it. So I cut that off and then glue my pages together. As you can see, there's a map in there and then made the part that I cut off into a journaling card and then did a reflection about this. The time has come and we just had an election and in Medicine Hat, I don't live in Medicine Hat, but in Medicine Hat where I used to live, we, they voted in the very first female mayor and five out of the eight people of counselors or women. So I thought I would put that there. And then there's a quote by um, Louise McKinney. I just realized I missed part of the quote. That's what happens when you do things late at night. And just made a tab here just to remind myself that there is a pocket, a journal tag to pull out. And then here, going back to the neutral color scheme again, trying it out. I didn't want to do a lot of layers, so this one I just did. I took um, some end, pa end, book end papers from books and glued them on. And then I decided I wanted to draw. So this is a cotton wood leaf that actually fell on my page as I was drawing. So I actually drew it and strawberry leaves and did a pumpkin and a sparrow, which we have lots of hanging around right now. And then just journaled about October. Let's put a frame and little treasures was one of the only word that I put on there from the book. And then getting back to more color, but still more neutral and this all started off because I received some mail from a local business and I really liked the stamp. So I glued that on and then I cut apart the little brochure and used different parts of it in here. And this is from the envelope with my address. Just highlighted certain words of things I want to do or keep doing. And again, here's the coffee filter flowers that I did. And here's a little guy that's kind of roaming around. I'm not sure if I want to add it or put it on another page. Oh, and something new that I start, did on this page was I have a China marker and I had to sharpen it and I peeled off the paper and glued it down. Looks, added some, new, some, um, some more calmer spaces. So again, having contrast, busy, not busy. And I drew myself pen and ink and added some watercolor paper and it was watercolor and it was fun to try to mix the color that was there. And then because this page is smaller than the others, then again, integrating the previous page into this page. And this is about simple pleasures in life, things I love and included. I found as I was digging through my papers, I found a note from my granddaughter. She wrote, I love you and did this little cat picture. So I had to put it in there and did a little painting a person and then when um, some kids were out we were talking about different styles and they wanted to do trees and we were talking about how things don't always have to be realistic and the more abstract things are or more free and creative it's more interesting so I decided to draw a tree like this and do put some little carrot people incorporated my usual glitter at this time of year and I took Arnold Schwarzenegger's quote and made it my own. Creatively, the worst thing I can be is being the same as everybody else. And then I was just practicing doing some different greenery. This card has some embroidery stitches from a sewing machine. It's a little gold pens. I like the simplicity of it. And then on the back, I decided to once again just glue in a practice page and then I found it an old date book from from my my dad's dash at my mom's house and so I tore out some November pages and, and added some lines and then added a, a stamp from Maud Lewis a Canadian artist and I 
saw her movie called Body, and I just love it, so I put it on there. And the little quote that was relevant to a discussion that we had that day. And then my aunt saved me a stamp, so I glued it on here, and I just did a little eatsy beatsy watercolor painting, and I love this, I kiss you, so I thought I'd put that there, because there's a little couple. And then this is uh, just a memory of a decoration that I made last year. I sold it, so I made a copy before I sold it and included it in here. And so this is just an old painting that I started last year, and then this year I added the little bunny rabbit and a little star and, of course, some glitter. And I was going to turn this into a journaling card, but then decided just to put in some puffy wallpaper and just call it done, but did the journaling on the side here. And then feeling kind of nostalgic and again trying out the neutral color scheme. And so this is a reflection of Remembrance Day. And I wanted to try doing some watercolor poppies and then decided to do the journaling in the background about it. And then just rubber stamped, we remember. And there's a little uh, ticket from the museum in um, San Francisco that I went to, and the date where I went. And then I just put random words about things that people did during that time. They were used a lot of things. They were asked to save, like aluminum foil and stuff like that, and pitch in and do their share to help the war effort, ration and sacrifice. And I was thinking about all the grumbling people were doing about having to do certain things right now because of the pandemic, and I don't think they would have done very well during war times. And then I just included uh, some pictures of my grandfather's and my husband's grandfather. They helped in the war effort in their own way. And then these are some modern, these two are modern day pictures. This is of the Cenotaph and Medicine Hat. And I took this photo of soldiers. They were all clasping their hands behind their back and it all looked like they had hearts. So I included that. And then here's a vintage photo that I found at an antique store that I just put in here. And then just getting to the end of my signature. This page, I didn't want to do a lot of layers again, so I decided I was going to just write down some more people that I've discovered on iTunes that I've downloaded. And then I decided I felt like drawing, and I kind of put this lady being carried away with wings by her music. And I started playing piano again and having to reteach myself the notes for my left hand because I used to be a organ player. Now I have to read notes for my left hand for piano. And so just kind of was excited that I was back to playing piano again and then decided to make this is a little doily and an old map, turn them into some clouds and there's some old wallpaper again. And then I've been doing some more um, just real simple watercolor paintings and some carrot people and then as you can tell, my, I have little couples and a lot of different paintings, and that's because we're empty nesters now. So I put an empty nest does not mean an empty heart. And as you can tell, I've used some different metallic paint. And there's some stitching around the edges here. And then this ends the signature, and then this is just the back of the painting that I had on the front cover. And so as you can tell, I do a variety of styles and try different things. And I'm not married to certain style or certain colors. And I like to try new things and I kind of get tired of stuff. And I know some people that like, they would have a, an entire visual journal just dedicated to abstract and vintage and all that. But I, this is who I am. I'm an eclectic kind of person. I love all different kinds of things. And so that's what I wanted my journal to be. And this one was more personal journal than my other ones because a lot of them that I've shown in the past, they have started off as lessons to, with uh, my clients. And this one is just, I'm trying to keep it just about me and not about other people. So thank you so much for coming into my studio and seeing my visual journal. I'd love to see what you think. Just put a comment in the comment section, thumbs up if you like it. I'd love it if you'd follow me and help my audience grow, and I'll see you soon.